What's up guys, B by Mash UK, Speed VR, with another video for you. Sorry about the light in this room, but um, I'm a bit limited with light. So let's um, get it all in. Okay, right. Over the last two days, I've been experimenting with uh, virtual desktop over 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6 and I'll tell you now right forget the reverb G2 for now okay the reverb G2 is the go-to headset for sim racing okay without a doubt I'm gonna do another video on how I've been putting my 10 700k to work and I mean putting it to work okay well that's another video this video is all about my experience in this room with the Quest 2 and this router okay set up as an access point on my existing network and the most impressive thing about this is that I am able to go downstairs which is directly underneath this floor and have a wireless VR experience like I never imagined uh, and I'm not exaggerating now I am I am telling you now for anyone who used to follow my old channel, B by Mash UK, you'll know that I've had a Vive Pro and, and Vive wireless headset, headset attachment, right? This destroys that experience. I'm telling you, right? Let's just break this down on cost. Okay, I've got a beefy machine, and I'm sure that's helping for 3090 and me. 10 700k okay so I'm sure that that is definitely helping with the experience but 299 pounds okay 79.99 that is it okay that router there is the same price well it's 10 pound cheaper than using an official oculus link cable okay and it's a good experience you know it is very good but you've still got that wire in fact I paid 30 pounds for my cable and I have a very good experience it was my go-to headset before the G2 but these two combined not only allows me to have perfect wireless experience in here. Not tried it with sim racing. I've mainly been playing Robo Recall and Space Pirate Trainer. Okay. But what this gives me is the ability to go into a bigger room. Okay. I've only got a small room and play room scale VR. And the performance is identical to what it is in this room. Because my living room is down there. So it ain't too far away. And I'm telling you, I've been playing Robo Recall before doing this video for an hour. I can't remember the last time I played that for that long. So... If you've got a decent PC and a decent graphics card and you want to connect your Quest 2 to your PC and you want an all-round experience not just sim racing but um, you know playing Half-Life Alex and Robo Recall and all that sort of stuff this is the route to go especially if you want to play in a different room I'm absolutely gobsmacked okay 
if I discover that my and I'm sure it is it's got to be my 3090 has definitely got a big part to play but if that CPU upgrade has improved has, has, has enabled me to have such a great experience then it was I'm telling you now it was well worth upgrading to the 10700k um, CPU usage is higher definitely higher when I'm downstairs and it's and it's it's high when I'm in here as well but um, why oculus haven't done this themselves I just I don't understand it how oculus can turn around and say the reason why we went with oculus link and not oculus wireless is because we weren't happy with performance I mean I'm a performance fiend okay I've got to have good performance but I'm telling you now if this la if this type of router and you know if if this landed on my desk at Ocul oculus and said try it out see if it works I would have signed it off as a success because the picture quality is better than overlink you could you got no cable whatsoever you can move in between rooms if your house is laid out right I mean there's no there's no way I'm going back to the oculus cable on this now that I've got this set up there's no way that freedom of being of not having that cable even in here and the freedom of being able to go downstairs it saved me a fortune because I was considering building a second rig for the living room just for VR downstairs but I don't need to know this here attached to my network as an access point um, it's, it's perfect absolutely perfect so I'm not going to go through over the configuration because a, a youtuber called Carl Gosling K-A-R-L Gosling G-O-S-L-I-N-G has done a brilliant video that I followed um, you know as he calls it this is his proper Wi-Fi um, remote desktop uh, virtual desktop video he covers everything and it's about 35 minutes and it, there's no faff it's just in and out this is what you do copy my settings off you go I had a little bit of trouble but I think that was my network at the time of I am out now I'm get, I've got this set to 150 megabits per second um, my signal is 1200 megabits per second because it's Wi-Fi 6 um, on my normal BT box without using this I could still play downstairs but I was getting 860 something megabits per second I was about to send this back because I thought you know it ain't working it's just not good enough but I fixed the problem on my network and it's just it's just sprung to life absolutely sprung to life the fact that I can now go downstairs with that and play my PC VR well worth the 79 quid well worth it in fact this headset now has um, has gone right up in my estimation right up so there you go so let's have a look at the, the model numbers and stuff 79.99 for a TP link AX1500 it's also known as the Archer AX10 Wi-Fi 6 just briefly you connect this on the back here on the back there is a um, a WAN connection wide area network WAN you run a cable from there to any one of these ports on your ISP provided um, router okay just like if you connected that PC to the router in the other room now you just you just run a cable from there from the WAN port into your um, ISP provided router then you connect your PC 
to one of these yellow ports on the back of the TP-Link. Go through the settings that Carl Gosling has, will tell you to do. And that's it. You set up a dedicated um, 5 gig, 5 gig, uh, 5 gigahertz connection on the router. Your Quest connects to that. So this is this is it, right? Quest connects to this, okay. And that there between these two is a dedicated Wi-Fi area. That's the best I can describe it. Okay, you're like creating a little segmented zone on your network. You don't want anything else connecting to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi because you want all the bandwidth available for your headset. And that's it. Perfect. So I'm running out of time now. So yeah, definitely impressed. Questions in the comments below. Let's discuss.